My name's Guy Kestivan. I've been a professional biking kit reviewer for nearly 25 years, but I'm holding a product from someone who just branched out into clothing, and that is PNW Components. Uh, you'll already know I'm a big fan of their like coast gravel stuff. Uh, their really affordable alloy cockpit equipment, uh, their loam kit, and their uh, Rainier and uh, loam dropper posts as well. Just really, really well sorted kit. Uh, Aaron and the team over in the Pacific Northwest, where they get the name from, uh, put together a really, really, just, just really well priced, really reliable, really nicely detailed and well thought out component tree. But obviously they wanted to get into clothing. Now they've actually been, you know, developing this stuff for a couple of years and rather than just coming out with a massive range, there's kind of three key pieces of kit. Starting with the Ozone jersey, which as you can see is basically a t-shirt. Uh, but you've got some uh, laser cut perforations inside under the, uh, under the armpits there. So there's a little bit of breathability, a little bit of air con there. And it's actually a drop tail on the back as well. You can just see it's just slightly longer at the back than it is at the front. So riding fit should be really, really neat. And it's a 20% wool, 80% polyester blend. So you've got a little bit of that kind of warmth and uh, comfort of wool uh, in a blend that's still nice, tough, uh, won't shrink polyester. And it's blue sign approved fabric as well. And it comes in a compostable bag, so they're ticking all the eco boxes there. To be honest, it's probably going to be a while before I'm wearing a short sleeve t shirty style jersey on the bike, but if I do get lucky with the weather, obviously bring, come straight back with feedback on that. Now these are the shuttle shorts. Said that better than a man with a lisp would. And again, uh, staple really, you know, black shorts, uh, 13 inch inseam on them. It's a DWR treated fabric, so you'd hope the water's gonna sprinkle off it a bit. I mean, there's no like fully waterproof seat panel in there, but to be honest, that means they're not gonna create, well, let's, there's no polite way of putting this, create a sweaty crack and sack uh, when you're pedaling up the hills. Uh, and you've got nice little waist to adjust belt there to cinch them in. It's a button fly. So you need to now add seconds if you're in a hurry, but you never mind. Uh, zip fly at the top, as sorry, zip fly in front there, and then mesh line pockets. You've got two standard hand pockets, and then where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? You've got cargo pockets that come round to the back of the short there, and according to their hype, sorry, uh, marketing. Uh, they're particularly proud of these foam pockets. So uh, they've really designed them to sit very, very close to the body and uh, stop your phone jiggling about and getting in the way. So I am hopefully gonna be riding those this afternoon. So uh, you'll get initial reports back on those pretty quickly. But yeah, feel like they're not over noisy. And uh, yeah, I mean, what can I say? It's a brand new clothing brand. Uh, they look really, really well designed, but I've not even stuck my legs through them yet, so I can't even comment on initial fit, but I will be back to that. The thing I'm really excited about though, because I geek out massively about jackets, is this Lander jacket. And the reason I'm so excited is, the first thing they're really making uh, known about this jacket is, it's not waterproof. It's DWR wind, it's DWR proof, so you will get some water shedding off it. But primarily it's a windproof fabric, so they can make it as breathable as possible. And if you read my thing on Bike Perfect recently, I don't think anything actually keeps you dry on the bike. So something that vents well, something that breathes well, I think is far, far more important. And that includes big zipped vents on the back here. And inside there, not only have you got little detailed pockets running through, but if I flip it, this is really smart you actually get, sorry, I'm probably not showing this very well. Hang on, talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Let's get this jacket opened up so we can see this feature better. You've actually got a waist belt inside which supports those pockets. So you can, you can load those back pockets up with all the spares and kit you need and uh, 
it's hanging off a belt, it's not hanging off the jacket, so it's not going to drag down on your shoulders. I mean, presumably, presumably, like I say, it's literally just out of the packet is this one. And you've also got really big over the helmet hood as well with a bunch of little uh, cord locks on it so you can cinch that down. So, I mean, as far as I can tell, there's, oh yeah, and there's even big bonus points for that. There's even a little cinch tab which will help you get the helmet uh, rolled down and stop it parachuting when you are when you don't need it, which, uh, but yeah, again, uh, quite, I mean, obviously having all these features in there makes it slightly heavier. Uh, there's the scales. Um, it, The usual professionalism here. So, right, let's get it on the scales. 490, so relatively, I mean, um, yeah, relative, that's quite a heavy jacket to be fair. And packability is okay, but not amazing. So it's definitely not just an emergency shell, but then uh, it's got a ton of features in there. So uh, what have they done with the cuffs? Uh, just a nice cowled cut on there with an elasticated feature. So right, give us a second, I'll put this on, then we'll see what it fits like, eh? So, there you go, uh, that's the uh, lander jacket on. You can see, big old uh, roomy hood there for the helmet, but that cinches down, as you tell. And, as you see, also got hand pockets on there as well. And then, when we zip it open, well, there's the waist belt. Just coming through these loops on the back here, and that supports the pockets at the back, so uh, it's nice. And obviously, the really smart thing about that is because the pockets are inside the jacket, you don't have to put a bum bag over the back, which uh, A, tends to wear off the DWR layer, so it leaks through there, but obviously a bu you're not going to breathe uh, through a bum bag, and just generally kind of compromises the function of the jacket having a bum bag on there, so it's better to get all that storage underneath, inside the jacket. Nice and generous in the uh, sleeves as well. In fact, for a medium, it is a medium. Yeah, this is a medium, pretty big jacket, but to be honest, I'm coming to the conclusion that I'm just horribly thin and I don't fill out jackets properly, but loads and loads of stretch in the fabric as well. So uh, yeah, right, so that's the lander jacket. And uh, because obviously there's some conversion going on, because they're an overseas company, uh, there's some weird pricing going on, but really, really competitive. 112.09 for the jacket, 44.39 for the uh, Ozone Trail jersey, and the sh shuttle short is 74.48. So, you know, good solid pricing, kind of mid-range really, not super cheap, but definitely not overpriced either. As far as I can tell, like you say, obviously, kit like this, it's all about the performance, all about the fit and how they wear on the trail. But if they've been a diligent with developing their clothing, as they have been with de developing their componentry, and the other interesting thing is uh, they're actually covered by a similar lifetime warranty to all PMW's hardware components as well. So if there's any problems with the workmanship or defects in the manufacturer, uh, yeah, you're covered for uh, the expected life of, I don't think it's your expected life, I think it's expected life of the product. So it's kind of a reasonable backup guarantee uh, rather than if I slide down the road on my face and ruin my jacket, uh, you'll give me a new one kind of thing. But yeah, look into the legal small print yourself. But having dealt with a couple of things with uh, PNW in terms of, I mean, I lost one of their stems and had to buy another one and stuff like that. They seem a really, really sorted company to deal with. And, you know, just in terms of, uh, there was an update, that was it, there was an update on the Rainier post as well. And I actually sent the spares kits out for free with the email that said, oh, we've got a bit of a glitch. Yours might still be working fine, but here's the kit you need to refresh it. So it just seems to be a company. I mean, they're really, really keen riders and they just seem to be a small or ever growing company uh, that seems to be really focused on treating riders right. So big thumbs up to PNW on that. And yeah, hopefully out in this kit this afternoon. But for now, uh, massive thanks to uh, Giro Cycling UK for sponsoring Guy to Case TV and PEs and Crud as well. Uh, thanks to my Patreon supporters for getting behind the channel on a monthly basis with a small donation. And that gives them exclusive early and behind the scenes access and ad free cuts of all the standard videos. And just a general level, generally higher level. I mean, I always try and answer your questions anyway, but 
if you're asking one there, I'll try and devote some more time to them and generally just, you know, try and leverage my experience to help people with their writing. So if you really like what I'm doing, please consider supporting me on Patreon as well. But click for notifications, click for subscriptions. I've got an absolute, I've, I haven't done one a kit video for ages and I've got an absolute huge backlog of stuff to get through. So I'm going to be standing in this front of this camera a lot more shortly and just piling sort of stuff through that I've ridden or stuff that I'm just uh, about getting out of boxes and about to ride. So keep your eyes peeled for a lot more kit and component content, not just the bike rides coming through in the near future. But for now, I've been Guy Kestevan on Guy Kest TV talking about the lander jacket, shorts and shuttle shorts and ozone jersey from Pacific Northwest Components. Thank you very much.